So today I'm talking about what an EVAP leak is and what the EVAP system does, along with how you go about fixing it with some of the possible causes and fixes for this. And so what is the EVAP system? Well, the EVAP system was created to help contain all the gas vapors from escaping into the atmosphere, and they get sent back into the engine and get burnt off. So this is for emissions. And there's several components that are part of the EVAP system, and they'll all be connected with a hose that lets the gas vapors flow back towards the engine and get burnt off. And the first part of the EVAP system is going to be the charcoal canister, which also contains the vent solenoid. Although sometimes this can't be separated, it's usually on the charcoal canister. And this helps store the gas vapors when the engine's not running and things like this at certain points, so that at some point they can be sent to the engine to get burnt off. And after the charcoal canister, the hose will work its way up to the top of the engine, and at the top of the engine is what is called a purge solenoid. And what this does is it stays closed when the engine's off so that no gas vapors can escape. And then when the engine's running, it opens so the gas vapors go into the engine and they get burnt off. And so basically all these components, they just work together, send the gas vapors up and around and into the engine to get burnt off. When the engine's not running, they'll be stored in the charcoal canister. And when the engine is running, they get sent up and this purge valve opens so that the vapors can be burnt off inside of the engine. And so the first thing to do, if you do have this problem, is to be sure to scan for codes. You probably already have, but be sure to scan for codes because there's many different codes related to the EVAP system and they can help point you to what the problem is, whether it's a purge valve or a charcoal canister or something like this. So looking at your codes is the first thing to do. And so once you know that, the first thing to do with any EVAP system problem is to go check the gas cap because the whole system needs to be inside of a slight vacuum and the gas cap is a part of the EVAP system. So if it's not sealing good, it can't cause a leak and cause an issue. So first thing to do, go check the gas cap. Be sure it's not cracked, it's not damaged or anything like that or anything that would be causing it to not seal properly. If it does look bad, then it's a good idea to go ahead and replace it. One thing to mention is to be sure to get an OEM gas cap because third-party aftermarket gas caps, sometimes they don't work so good, they don't seal properly. So you always want to get the correct OEM gas cap for your particular vehicle. And so if the gas cap all looks good, then the next thing you could go and check is the purge valve, which is located up and inside of the engine compartment. It'll just be a small little solenoid. It'll have like two hoses going to it and a wiring harness. And these can be tested to be sure they're working or they can be replaced. Be sure to check the wiring because bad wiring can cause the same problem as a bad solenoid. And check these hoses. Be sure they look good, that there's no cracks or anything like that where they might be leaking because that would cause an issue. And so if that all looks good, the next thing to go and look at will be the charcoal canister. And this will be located up and underneath the vehicle by the gas tank somewhere. And they'll have different components going on depending on the car and the vehicle, but they'll usually have the vent valve on it. Although sometimes that can be separate it's usually located on the charcoal canister and when you check this be sure you don't see no cracks be sure that all the hoses going in are good be sure the electrical connections are all plugged in good and everything like that one problem with an evap leak is that the vent valve goes bad so it's always stays open instead of closing when it's supposed to and so there's different ways you could test that many obd2 scan tools will test the vent valve but there is different ways you go about testing it to be sure it's good or replace it but the vent valve is a common problem with evap leaks but the next thing to check would be the whole charcoal canister and the vent valve and so so if you check all those things out and all these things look good, then very likely one of these hoses has a leak somewhere and it'll have to be found. And so if you took it to a mechanic, what they do is they use a smoke machine and they feed smoke into the EVAP system and wherever the leak was, the smoke would come out so they know where it's at and they'd be able to fix it. Now, very likely you're not going to have a smoke machine, but what you can do is that you can go back through all of those hoses all the way from the gas tank all the way up to the charcoal canister all the way back around to the purge valve and all these connections and check them out really good be sure to check all these connections examine them really good be sure there's no cracks or anything like this because at this point very likely there is a leak somewhere and sometimes it can be difficult to find and that's why many mechanic shops will use a smoke machine to find them and so that's basically it i just want to do a real quick video on what an evap leak is and some of the possible causes and fixes for it if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me and i'll try to answer them if this video helps you please click like please click subscribe and have a good day